welcome to the maintenance video of the S10 safety valve tools required disassembly of the safety valve for disassembly of safety valve firstly unscrew the S10 nipple for the main body and take out it from the main body by using a pick remove o-ring from S10 nipple Take out seat from the main body. Remove valve and spherical ball from the seat. Use pick if necessary. Now, unscrew adjusting screw from the main body. Then remove the lock nut from the adjusting screw. Take nylon rod and push spindle assembly from zinc coated cap side by nylon rod. Take out the spindle assembly from the main body. Take out the disc springs from the spindle rod. With the use of pick, remove the o-ring from the body of the spindle. With the help of nylon rod and rubber hammer, Push the zinc coated cap and separate it from the main body. Take a pick and remove the O ring from the zinc coated cap. Inspection of parts of the safety valve. Check inner diameter, ID and thread of main body for any type of damage. Inspect spindle for damage and pitting. Look o-ring for stiffness and damage. After that properly check all the disc spring. It should not have any crack or damage. Then inspect thread of adjusting screw and lock nut for any damage. Check thread of both sides and inner and outer diameter of S10 nipple for any damage. Look upper surface of a seat for any damage. Check o-ring for stiffness and damage and also inspect valve and spherical ball for any damage. Reassembly of the S10 safety valve. First of all, place the o-ring inside the inner surface of the zinc coated cap properly. After that, place zinc coated cap on the main body and push it with a rubber hammer so that it can place it in its proper position. Now, place the o-ring on the surface of the spindle. Now, place two disc springs in a such a manner that the convex side will face upward into the spindle.
then place two disc springs in such a manner that the concave side will face upward. Repeat a combination of the first four disc springs to place the remaining disc springs. Then install spindle into the main body. Make sure that the springs should face upward. Assemble lock nut into adjusting screw. And then assemble adjusting screw on the top of the main body. Place O-ring on the surface of S10 nipple. Install valve and spherical ball into a seat. The spherical ball should face towards the flat surface of the seat. Install seat into main body facing flat surface upward. Then install S10 nipple for the main body.